It has the paws of a speeding cheetah, the horns of a fierce buffalo, and the face of a dependable St. Bernard. Webster's mascot, the Gorlock, has been a part of the Webster family since 1988, and it's the first time since 1988 that the Gorlock has gone missing. Justin Barton, the father of the Gorlock, has suffered extreme depression since the loss. So the Gorlock and I were hanging out over at Arletto's. Um, it was, uh, I don't know, last week maybe. That's the last time I saw him was we did lunch and hung out and he was gone. I can't sleep, I can't eat. It's hard for me to go into my office because that's where the Gorlock lives. And if the Gorlock isn't there, then it just drains all of my energy. And campus is dark now. It's not like in the brochures where the sun is shining and everybody's happy. It's dark and it's just not the same Webster University. Barton has posted signs all around campus to find the Gorlock, but he said he knows who the culprit is. Had an intern working for me from Nearinks. Bam, Gorlock's gone. All right, so who stole the Gorlock? Nearinks Hall stole the Gorlock, the intern from Nearinks. I don't think, no, no, no. No one at Nearinks Hall would have taken the Gorlock. I didn't really have a relationship with the Gorlock. I would see him in and out of the office, but I didn't have a relationship with him high and bias about it. When Whitner was asked if she stole the Gorlock, she responded with, I refuse to comment on that question. I called public safety. I called the Webster Groves Police Department, called the FBI, called the CIA, I called the American Mascot Finding Association, and nobody can help me. He is the heart and soul of Webster spirit, so the reward will be for everyone to be happy again. If anyone has any leads to the whereabouts of the Gorlock, please visit Justin Barton at his office in the WVA Clubhouse. For the Webster Journal, I'm Sierra Hancock.